Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the new features and changes for Windows 11 build 26236 build 26120.961 and build 22636 and build 22635.3785 on the Canary Dev and Beta channels, which Microsoft made available during the second week of June 2024. Okay, let's dive into the new features and changes. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. As part of the Canary release, this preview includes the new account manager for the start menu, which is this one right here. The manager replaces the profile menu with a new design that showcases your Microsoft 365 benefits and also alerts you of any missing information and other actions you might need to take to maintain your account security. In addition, you will be able to see at glance your cloud storage usage, as you can see right here at the bottom, and which services are active or expiring soon. As a result of these changes, some of the options from the profile menu are now in different places. For example, you have to click this button right here to access a sub menu to sign out or switch users. Now, if you want to lock the PC, you now have to click the power button and that's where you're going to find the option. Also, this menu no longer lists other users configured on the computer. Now, this particular account has a Microsoft 365 subscription, but if we switch to another account, this one is a local account. This is how the menu design looks. And now let's go to another account that is using a Microsoft account, but it doesn't have a subscription. And this is how you're going to see the menu if you have a Microsoft account, but you don't have a Microsoft 365 subscription. So the issue with this feature is that even if you're not interested on user subscription, when opening the account manager, you will see a banner promoting the service that many people might consider some type of advertisement. So now I just switched to another computer that includes the latest preview of Windows 11 in the beta channel to continue showing you the changes that Microsoft is planning for the start menu. So on the beta channel, now the start menu supports jump list. That means that when you right click an app, you're going to see more options. In this case, for File Explorer, we're gonna see the different folders locations that I pinned previously. And this jump list will be different depending on the application. But you get the idea. You're gonna see more options available to you right from the start menu. Before, jump list were only available on the taskbar. Furthermore, Microsoft seems to be testing the ability to drag and drop apps into the taskbar so you can pin them directly it doesn't work for every app so let's see if i'm trying to do control panel that doesn't work but you get the idea in addition now if you go to the all apps menu you're going to see that we have a new group that shows the most used apps right at the top and when clicking a folder we are now going to see a grid view instead of a list view for all the items inside of that particular folder. And finally, on the recommended section for the start menu, you're now going to start to see suggestion for apps from the Microsoft Store. What's interesting is that when I first installed this preview yesterday, every time that I opened the start menu, I will see different apps, suggestions. And now that I'm actually recording the video, I don't see any suggestions but I was able to create a short video that show you how that looks like. Let me just play that back to you. And so basically you're now going to see the apps and when you click them, they will take you straight to the Microsoft Store so you can go and download them. What was interesting to me is that the apps suggestions didn't even include a label as promotion, a sponsor or anything. It will just be like a regular app and then when you click them, it will take you to the Microsoft Store. At least it didn't install automatically to realize then that you don't need the app and then you have to uninstall them. Also in the Veta channel, Microsoft is updating the Windows Share interface that now allows you to share content like files and links directly to your Android phone. So 
if you have a phone connected to your computer using the phone link app now it will appear as an option for you to share that content now i switch back to the canary channel computer and in here i want to show you that on the same screen microsoft is testing a new animation using a combination of the windows hello icon plus the windows logo and a check mark letting you know that you that you have successfully logged in into your computer also in the canary channel when you go to the settings app and then we go to system we're now going to find a new ai components section that will actually list all the packages related to ai in the same way that we have a page for system components now as part of the uh, windows recall improvements it's been discovered that the screen rate feature now includes a new option to search on the web when selecting text from a snapshot however microsoft is officially postponing the windows recall rollout because the company has to spend more time improving the feature and making it secure after the many security concerns we have been seeing around the internet. As a result, on June 18th, 2024, the new Copilot Plus PCs will not include the Windows Recall feature. Instead, the company is expected to make the feature available as a preview for testers in the Windows Insider program in the coming weeks. But don't get your hopes up because you will still need a Copilot Plus PC to test this feature. Once the feature is ready, it will then be available for compatible devices. So existing devices will not get the Windows Recall feature because according to the company, the feature requires a specific CPUs that integrates MPUs and you also need specific storage and RAM requirement. You need at least 16 gigabytes of RAM and at least 256 gigs of storage and the MPU has to have at least 40 tops of performance or more in order for the feature to work correctly. Again, that is according to Microsoft. So what changes Microsoft is planning for Windows Recall? Well, first, the company plans to update the setup experience to give users the choice to enable or keep the feature disabled. And this is a preview of the option that clearly gives you the option to continue the setup enabling Windows Recall or you can keep that turned off. Second, the database and other data will be encrypted on the computer and it will only be decrypted when you sign in. Third and final, you're now going to need to use your Windows Hello authentication to open the Recall app in order to access your Windows Recall timeline. Of course, this is in addition to the previously announced security features for Windows Recall. And that said, those were pretty much all the changes that Microsoft made available for Windows 11 in the last three previews of the operating system through the beta, dev, and Canary Chen. Notice that I didn't mention a lot about the dev channel. That's because there is not much to tell about that. Uh, the company only include some background changes to improve the overall experience of Windows and nothing else. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.